I'm not sure whether or not the students in our survey specifically knew what constituted torture. I can tell you that when we asked them whether or not the Geneva Conventions permitted certain uh, behaviors uh, on the part of captors to prisoners, that uh, roughly a third of the time they were in a, unable to answer correctly. We found that 94% of medical students who we surveyed, and we surveyed medical students at eight different medical schools, received over 1,700 responses from medical students. We found that 94% of them had had less than one hour of teaching about physicians' duties during times of war. We didn't even ask specifically about Geneva in that question. We, we asked more generally, and 94% and had had less than one hour. We developed these hypothetical scenario questions about what the duties of physicians during times of war would be according to the Geneva Conventions. One of the hypothetical scenarios, for example, asks um, when it would be uh, required, ethically speaking, to disobey the order of a superior in the military. And we had several hypothetical scenario, uh, answers, one of which was uh, when ordered to inject a harmless bolus of saline into a patient but, or into a prisoner, but the prisoner feels like the, or thinks that this is a lethal dose of medicine. Um, when ordered to threaten a prisoner with such an injection, or when ordered to actually inject a lethal dose of something into a prisoner. We were startled to find that roughly a third of the, the respondents in our study, because we ended up asking medical students these questions, roughly a third did not know when they should disobey an order from a superior, and in particular, 6% of our respondents were actually willing to inject prisoners with a lethal dose of some kind of uh, toxin if they were so ordered by a superior. Absolutely shocking. All of us as physicians, regardless of whether we serve in the military or not, are going to find ourselves being asked by superiors in some form or other to engage in behaviors or at least do things that might be contrary to the health needs of our patients. Whether it's you know, an HMO telling me that I can only see this person three times before I have to push them out the door, or it's a commander at Guantanamo saying, you know, we need help in extracting information from this person. I feel like there are so many scenarios more generally where physicians are going to be asked essentially to, to decide between the health needs uh, and the well-being of their patients and the needs of the organization in which they're employed. So I feel like even instruction ahead of time before we find ourselves in those scenarios would probably go a long way in helping people have the nerve later on to do what they feel in their gut is right before they've done it so many times that they, that initial feeling they had that this is immoral or unjust or you know against my principles as a physician before that sort of gone by the wayside and they're just sort of inured to to doing these sort of immoral and ethical things. Um, I also feel like uh, exposure to uh, people who've been tortured would probably go quite a long way also. Well, obviously the study was a, a downer to an extent given that we saw so many medical students who were ill-informed about the Geneva Conventions and the duties of physicians. The good news was that roughly two-thirds of the medical students were able to answer at least the hypothetical scenarios correctly. Another very good thing to come out of the study was, in fact, was the fact that we did generate interest in these issues so that we heard back from a number of students after they'd taken the survey that they wanted to know where they could go for more information about uh, all of the issues that we asked about in the survey.
this is one of the issues that's going to define our era. You know, if you have even reasonable, decent, humane people trying to make a case for why it's okay for us to torture people, something's wrong. And this is one of the issues that's going to define our, our era. And I feel like we all need to get on the, the right side and do what we can.